Palestinian militants in the Gaza Strip have fired rockets towards the Jerusalem area and southern Israel on Monday, carrying out a threat to punish Israel for violent confrontations with Palestinians in Jerusalem. The Gaza Health Ministry said nine Palestinians were killed in Israeli airstrikes in the Palestinian territory after the barrages against Israel. Now, the Israeli military issued no immediate comment on any action it had taken in the enclave. More than 300 people were hurt in violent clashes between Israeli police and Palestinian protesters. As Israelis celebrated Jerusalem Day on Monday and the Israeli military suspended a major training exercise citing what it called possible escalation scenarios. Israeli police fired tear gas, stun grenades and rubber bullets at hundreds of Palestinians hurling rocks outside the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Video from inside the mosque showed scenes of wounded worshippers being carried away amid loud blasts. Azmi was among the crowd. We were praying in the mosque. Suddenly the soldiers evacuated uh, the mosque without any alert. They started to uh, uh, shoot the bo uh, bombs. It's, it's amazing. Uh, this is a praying place, not for a uh, fight. CCTV footage showed Palestinians pelting an Israeli car with rocks. The driver was badly wounded. Palestinians accused him of deliberately ramming into them. Police say he lost control of the car. Meanwhile, after an ultimatum for Israeli forces to stand down at two flashpoints, Hamas fired rockets into Israel in an apparent response. Palestinian medical workers later reported Israeli strikes hitting Gaza with casualties. Al-Aqsa Mosque is sacred to both Muslims and Jews, but it's been a focal point for violence over the holy month of Ramadan. One of the issues fueling the anger is the planned eviction of Palestinian families from the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood by Jewish settlers. Jerusalem Day is the annual celebration of the capture of parts of the city during the 1967 Middle East War. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.